Today is Saturday. It's October the 22nd, 2022. The title of today's devotional from Heart of a Shepherd is Love That Gives and Forgives. Now, our scripture reading, 2 Corinthians chapter 2. Now, I invite you to open your Bible. Follow with me. You're going to notice as you begin reading uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 that it really is a continuation of what I would describe as the second half or the second part of Paul's greeting to the believers in Corinth. Now, uh, Paul begins, as you look at the latter part of verse chapter 1, beginning at verse 23 and 24, justifying his delay in coming to Corinth. Paul wrote in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 23, Moreover, I call God for a record or for a witness upon my soul, that to spare you I came not as yet unto Corinth. Now, we would ask the question, to spare what? What was Paul sparing the congregation in 2 Corinthians chapter 2? Well, the answer is found here. Would you notice with me then, as you look at verse 23 and 24 of 2 Corinthians chapter 1, now we know that the first letter, 1 Corinthians, was a letter that admonished the believers that lived in Corinth. And now Paul advises towards the end of chapter 1 that he had no desire to come too soon after that first letter of admonishments, of corrections, or of even rebukes, lest he be perceived, in verse 24, uh, as a spiritual tyrant. And therefore, he had, as you come to chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2, he had purposed he would not come again to Corinth in heaviness, lest he be forced out to a duty to discipline and to charge them for their sins. Now, I've often said that Paul gives that wonderful example of a loving pastor, shepherd. And in verse 3, he reveals that like any pastor, he takes no joy in adding to their sorrows the need to reprove those to whom he ministered. He he did not personally want to add to his own sorrow. So in verse 4, he described how he wrote 1 Corinthians, that first letter, and that it was written with many tears. But it wasn't written to the purpose of distressing or grieving the believers, but chapter 2 and verse 4, because he loved them. Now, as you come to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, and you begin to read it, verses 5 through 11, we see here this wonderful exposition of church discipline, forgiveness, and then restoration. Now, as instructed by Paul in the first letter in chapter 5, the congregation in Corinth had judged and removed the man who had an incestuous relationship with his stepmother. Now, the fruit of their faithfulness, the fruit of the faithfulness of the believers in Corinth, resulted in that man not only accepting the chastening with humility, but also with repentance. Now, Paul has, as you look at verse 5 and 6, heard of the repentance of the man, and so he now instructs the believers in verse 7 and 8 that you ought rather to forgive him and comfort him. Lest perhaps such a one should be swallowed up with overmuch, uh, overmuch sorrow. And so he writes in verse 8, Wherefore I beseech you that you would confirm your love toward him. Toward who? Towards the man that they had disciplined and put away and out of the church. Paul is now instructing them to receive him. Why? Because he has repented with sorrow. And so now we understand then that the goal of church discipline is not punishment but restoration. Paul therefore affirmed concerning the man who sinned and repented. As you look at verse 10, to whom ye forgive anything, Paul says, well, I forgive also. For if I forgive anything to whom I forgive it, for your sakes forgave I it in the person or in the authority of Jesus Christ. And so the basis of Paul affirming his own forgiveness was under the authority and the person of Jesus Christ. Now, a closing thought for this. Tragically, the majority of those that might listen to this devotional today live and worship in churches in the 21st century uh, 
that are unwilling to follow scriptural guidelines and address sin in the congregation. Many churches under the guise of love and long-suffering, the tolerance for sin, sadly, has perpetuated a desensitization of sin in their homes, in their institutions, and, of course, in their personal lives. The Corinthian congregation experienced a joy that few churches see in the 21st century because they had been obedient and followed Paul's instruction to put away that sinner, to number him, put him out of the fellowship, the one that had sinned, now they had the joy of seeing him repent, restored to their love and fellowship. What a great reminder of biblical Christ-like love. For it is a love that gives and forgives. Ephesians 4.32, I will close with this. Be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, and yes, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake hath forgiven you. How much has God forgiven you? As you uh, confess your sins and repent, he's forgiven you everything. And we should be willing to do the same to those who have sinned against us. Thank you for joining me for today's Heart of a Shepherd devotional. God bless.